So, so today I'm going to show how to make a kaleidoscope using Geometry Sketchpad and the uh, proper types of angles you need. So the first thing you want to do is make a circle like so and erase this point over here by hiding it. Now we move it closer to the center and make a segment from the center to one of the sides and another segment from the center to somewhere past the sides. Now we connect the two segments and we dot out this one right here and we put an angle in between the two segments like so and make it solid because that's going to be one of the mirrors that we're going to be using So now what we want to do is put a point where the segments intersect and we're going to also divide this segment here into two separate segments so we can make this dotted as well. Now if you picture this as one of the mirrors in the kaleidoscope, what we want to do is reflect it over itself. To do that we select this until you get those squares and then that makes it the center and we're gonna select this and this and go to transform and reflect so now we see that we have another identical side reflected over the mirror we're gonna keep doing this process until we have something that looks like a star so now we uh, double click this until this becomes the center and again select this side, this side and the mirror. Transform, reflect. And what we got is another triangle. So let's just keep doing the same thing. Make this the center now. Select these two sides. Transform and reflect. So now you see that we have something that looks like four different sides. So we're going to add a few more. And what we're doing is actually dragging it up so we can kind of see the full picture. So let's do this two more times and see what happens. We continue like we did before. And now we can kind of combine them together into what looks like a five-sided star. Now for a kaleidoscope to work the way it's supposed to, the uh, mirrors have to line up exactly. So what we want to do is measure this angle here. Measure and then going to angle and now we want to line up these so they're on top of each other so it looks like 36 degrees would make for a perfect star one other thing we can do is add another point to the star by going to first we make this the center and then we reflect it as we did before and one more time and now we have six different points which makes every segment 30 degrees now instead of 36 however again 
to make a kaleidoscope that lines up perfectly this angle has to be right on top of each other one of the interesting things we can do is we can actually turn the kaleidoscope until we get less and less uh, angles on the star so for example here's four and then we can go one more time this makes it three and now two and then we can take it around again until we get back to six one of the things we notice is that every time we make one of the points on the star disappear the angle measurement becomes proportional to 360 degrees for example here would be 36 if it was to line up and then let's make it 4 so 45 degrees the angle becomes when we make it 2 or 3 we see that 60 degrees is the ideal angle for the kaleidoscope let's um, go back to the six stars again now one of the other cool things we can do is if we rotate this point here we can actually change the how the points look on the star for example th these are really wide and then we can make them very narrow as we turn our kaleidoscope 